Hey, true believers, it is December 23rd, 2017 at the time I am recording this. It is a time for joy, a time for love, a time to come together and just be good to each other. It's Christmas. It's Christmas time. And generally, everybody's being happy. We're being kind to each other. It's a lot of fun. But wouldn't you know it, we have to have some SJW writer pop up their ugly head and remind us why we hate Marvel Comics these days because they're filled with hate themselves. So the quirky reek and otherwise known as Gabby Rivera herself tweeted this out. Holiday shopping got you down. Just go up to every white person in the stores and ask them if they work there repeatedly. Ignore when they say they don't. Ask where the bathroom is. And if something is on sale, repeat till you can't stop laughing. I can accept a good prank just like everybody else, but come on, this is pure hatred. You're calling out, oh, white people, just white people. White people are so bad, we gotta mess them up while they're just trying to go about their day in an otherwise stressful situation sometimes. Christmas shopping can be stressful, so I wanted to rip into this bitch. This is horrible. I'm glad she got fired now, and I wasn't glad before. I was hoping she would get better, but I didn't need to rip into it because you guys did, and here are some awesome tweets saying it. Boom, San Augustine starts off this party by saying, That's rich. I can't imagine what a born racist with a failed comic book like you could be going through right now. I pity you and everyone like you. Being a jade bigot must be painful for you right now. I just added the right now. Now, you may like your boy Zach, but my boy weaponized nerd rage kicks his ass up, down, left, right, and center when it comes to roasting somebody. And so instead of spreading cheer and love this Christmas... You want to act like an annoying four-year-old? Gotcha. You are a disgrace to all of us Latinos. And finally, Dag Bigdozian says, You need help, serious psychological help, and you have anger issues that need to be addressed before you hurt yourself or someone else. See? I, I don't have to say anything. They'll say it for us. And they say it well, and there's more to come. Author Joseph says, I recommend therapy. You need lots and lots of therapy. Society Reviews, I guess when you're not employed, this is what quality entertainment looks like. Well, Society, I'm unemployed, and no, it isn't. By the way, watch our videos, that's quality entertainment. Steve Edwards says, You know, I was in my local comic shop today, and some random came up to me giggling and asked if I worked there. I said no. They giggled some more and asked where they could find America. I told them it got canceled. Then they left, and I bought some books that were well-written. Smack. Ah. Bitch slap for every one of us. Leon Roche says, I love it. I think my art is pure shit, but I at least can write a gay character that don't suck. It also helps that I'm not a racist bigot. To which Steve Edwards says, I would imagine that gives you a great advantage. And Boom San Augustine chimes in again saying America Chavez is what Rivera aspires to be. No wonder she's such a jaded bigot. She has really low aspirations. Justin Belton replied with, This is one reason your America book got canceled. You're a racist who made a bad comic with a racist character with no personality other than being a gay Latina. She's not a Latina. She's a space alien from another dimension. You are absolutely right, Mr. Justin Belton. Christmas Meta X says, Wow, you're a real asshole, aren't you? I think that just sums it up right there. Period. I think you put a, should have put a period instead of question mark. Jason Rogers says, I wouldn't get too cocky. You'll probably be working there soon enough. Pretty soon, I'll be asking you where I can find the bathroom. Well, bang a ring, Jason. Slow-mo Shekelstein replied with, Did your poor selling comic get canceled yet? And then something I can't pronounce. Mama? I don't know. The white Latinos too, Gabby? Or you're among the ignorant who believes Latinos are a race and 20% of us aren't white. Just ask him for a friend. And then Pelosi for Life says, It's so rare that a true racist reveals herself so openly. It's kind of refreshing. Wow, looks like we have a string of one-liners. Z Gherkin says, You're a disgusting racist. Militant Contrarian, LL, LOL. You're so racist. I'm not thinking you're too much of a contrarian on this one there, dude. And then we have Common Sense Crusader saying, Is it the holidays or that your shit book is gone? (laughs) 
And then superfluous third tentacle. Can't imagine while you, why you're while you're comic tanked. I think he's trying to say why, but there you go. Maybe there's more to it that I'm missing here. Stuart Pilkington says, "You stupid racist cow." There's unsurprised you got fired. Michael Pilkington said that if you spent half as much time putting effort into your writing as you do saying stupid things on Twitter, your book might not have been canceled. Followed by Patrick, who simply put a, a meme with Donald Trump saying, you're fired. The big question is, is Marvel going to continue to use her on something else or just get rid of her? And then we get another run of one-liners. Spielban says, it's nice having all this free time, isn't it? Trimpobopolis Ninja says, yeah, barrel of laughs. Javier Lopez Ramos, even us Puerto Ricans have individuals with mental health issues. Please have mercy on this Latina soul. Ed, which is replied to by Schlack123 with a, it's Latinx, how dare you, capo winky face. And then we have Edwardus with a resentful, you'll have plenty of free time to talk shit now that you don't have a book to write anymore. I don't care how well you're doing in an argument on Twitter, at some point in time, somebody's going to come up to make your side look stupid. Now, usually after they say something stupid, all the focus and attention go to them, but that didn't happen here. First, we have Jabba Hay saying, this bitch is so stupid, fat, and racist, the United States should classify her as a hate group. Not too shabby, not too bad. I wouldn't have gone so far as the bitch part because I would want to keep the high road. But then you get, I'm just going to type here until I run out of spay. I used to ask the cockroaches I'd see if they were done cleaning the toilets yet, but they kept answering, yes, sir, so it wasn't funny anymore. Congratulations. Schlack123 says, cute, real cute, immature as fuck, but cute seems like you're awfully worried about race, more so than any white person I've ever known or met. Hopefully you'll find something that makes you happy and brings you peace. Good comment. And I've mentioned many times to her, actually, that she thinks that women are weak and she always comes from a place of hate. Seth Lucas says, Wow, I couldn't find a single reply supporting you. Guess that's why your book got canned. That says it all. It's like I said, I ha I have actually been following her since American Number One came out, and I've talked to her a bit. I'm surprised she hasn't blocked me because I tell her things like, you know, like what I said. I'm, I've argued with her many times that she thinks women are weak and she comes from a place of hate and she is a bigot. You know, and it's... uh. It's horrible that she she does like that. I mean, it, how can you have so much hate in your heart? So I looked up and down her Twitter feed to find anything that may say anything about love. And this is what I found. She retweeted this from someone named Joanna. And it says, I hope you all appreciate pussy more in 2018. I'm tired of good dick content. That's as close. So everybody... The message of love from Gabby Rivera through Joanna. Appreciate Pussy More in 2018. Go forth. Be stronger and be better with those words in your heart. Oh, also, I forgot the dude that did this meme. I apologize. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to use it. I use it as the uh, thumbnail here. But what did you guys think about this whole situation? Uh, we're not going to have Gabby Rivera in the comic community for much longer. I cannot see Marvel keeping her. Do you think that Marvel would keep her? And if so, what book do you think they would give her? Let me know in the comments below. Riri Williams. And I would love to hear your opinion on that. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, click share. Click subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, if you are already subscribed, I've been finding out that the notifications have been turned off. So please hit the notification bell again, even if it says that you're being notified. This is the way we make our living. So if you don't mind going on over to Patreon, drop a dollar in the till. Help us keep the lights on. Help us uh, keep making videos like this. We certainly appreciate everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers who are ready to sing Ding Dong, the Wicked Witch is Dead, we thank you very, very much for watching. You really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch.
You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. 